Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome all to some more Binding of Isaac. Ah, blah, blah, blah. But it appears uh, this got a new update. Version 1.48! Pretty sure that's new. Either way, in the last part, we, uh, became Guppy, which was rather surprising. So this time, let's try something different. Uh, Spider Boy, let's do the Spider Boy achievement. Achievement, no, challenge. It's a challenge. So with this a challenge, I do believe we are given Quad Shot and Spider Bite, which means we shoot four shots at once, and randomly those shots can deal a sl slowing effect to the enemy. But since we shoot four times at once, that whole randomized uh, function is pretty much, like, always going to happen. Which is going to be pretty good, because this is, like, one of the easiest ga easiest challenges in the game. Ooh, Temperance and Anarchist Cookbook. I don't believe I have used Anarchist Cookbook yet, and Temperance just spawns a blood bank for me. So, Anarchist Cookbook. Spawns a shit ton of bombs that are inevitably going to hit me. I was pretty sure one of them was, at least. So with this challenge, although we are given, like, a bunch of game-breaking items, we are never given an item room, so we're reliant on deals with the devil and boss item rooms. If you're lucky enough, you can find, uh, secret rooms and get game-breaking items from there, such as, uh, a few items that I haven't actually unlocked in this game, so it's, I won't spoil what they are. Get away! Get away! So obviously, from item room, or er, not item rooms, uh, from boss rooms, what we're looking for would be, say, some damage up and some health ups. Though damage ups are probably going to be a rare occasion since there aren't that many to begin with. I think there's like pentagram. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's like the only boss boss item that drops that gives you damage. Maybe little Steve, maybe Steven too. Wow, I actually feel bad for uh, Gemini over here. This is the first time I've actually fought him too. And of course I get the rock while using uh, Anarchist Cookbook. So Gemini is just basically uh, a conjoined twin, sort of. Not really conjoined, but the bigger one chases you, the small one, uh, shoots at you, and when you kill the big one, the small one just gets really pissed off and tries to charge you. Cat of Nine Tails. Well, I can't get rid of it, so I might as well pick it up. My shots just go a little bit faster, which, to be honest, I've never really been able to witness. I see no difference between them. I guess I can use Temperance. Oh well, it it played its part. Not a big part, but it played a part. Uh I could go to the shop on this floor. I could use a bomb to blow up a few bits of money way up here. Yep, that's exactly how much I needed. And then I can use one of my many keys to get into the shop. And no matter what it is, it's going to be helpful, because it's a very rare occasion to get the shop on the first floor. Nun's Habit. Okay, I guess that's not bad. Every time I get hit, my uh, spacebar item will recharge a little bit faster. Like, in this case, if I get hit uh, once more, I'll get like two rooms worth of charge back. So it's not that, it's not that bad, but it's not that great. It'd be good if I could combine it with, uh, something that Magdalene uses, one of the characters. Not sure if I've shown her off yet, have I? Oh well, in due time. In due time. So we have shot speed up, item mi miter, and a little bit of damage. I would say that's pretty good for a first floor. And we have a library on this floor, too. I think I might actually go in there. Getting a library is pretty rare, too. Don't know what this pill does, but might as well use it. Health up! Wow, that's actually a good pill. What's in this library? Book of Shadow and Book of Sin? Book of Belial. 
I'm gonna take Book of Shadows for now. I'll save, uh, Book of Belial for the boss. Oh. Oh, I know what this pill is, though. Not this. I know this one. It's health up. Lame. Oh, wow. It actually helped. That's such the that's such a weird place for the secret room to be. I've never seen it be in such a useless area. I keep forgetting I actually still have slowing effect due to the color of my tears. That's the one thing I don't like about uh, the rock. Although it's a pretty good damage up, it turns your tears gray. So sometimes it could trick my mind into thinking I have spectral tears when I don't. And then it makes me forget what uh, tear effects I have to begin with. Like normally my shots would be white. Kind of indicating that they have slowing. But whatever. So let's see. I have like a few bombs and keys. Well actually. I have no bombs. I have a few keys and no money. So there's no chance in hell I'm getting into the shop. There we go. And once again the item room. Which I keep forgetting about. Ooh, the stars. That'll take me to the item room for free, except there is no item room. Where does it take me, then? Oh. Well, what does this pill do? Bombs are key. Not bad. Not bad. I guess I'll take the Book of Belial now, since I'm right here. This is pretty good. I mean, I haven't really had a bad pill yet, and I already have two health ups on this one floor. I wonder what the boss is going to give me, though. Oh, wait. I don't think I've actually unlocked Magdalene yet. Oh, well. Isaac versus the Widow. Something that has so f so little he health. She's going to be so fucked once I manage to hit her. See you, Widow. See you, Nub. Spoon. Uh, speed up. That's pretty terrible. I guess it works. It works, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. What what I need is more range. Wow, that was actually pretty lucky. Good dodging on my part. Ooh, another tinted rock. I could probably get the rock again. Maybe. I'm not sure if I can get that more than once. Can I? Nope, but Spirit of Heart will do. Ooh, secret room. Nice. Child's heart. Not sure what it does. Not sure. What's in this? Hmm. Book of Revelations or Book of Revelations? Which one do I get? I'm gonna get this one. Use it, and then I'm gonna get this one because it's the same exact thing. That That's the exact reason why I was even going into those uh, rooms, because I was hoping hoping to get a book of revelations just because I mean who doesn't want free health every now and then well crazy people don't but yeah come on I wish I'd be lucky enough to find the secret room and find something like super game breaking like I did in the past uh, for people who've played this game would probably know what epic fetus is I managed to get Epic Fetus while doing this challenge run. Suffice to say, it was fun. But I'm not gonna spoil what the power-up does. Because I don't think I've even unlocked uh, Fetus in a jar yet. Ow! Fuck. Well, at least I lost half a spirit heart. So I'm gonna get a full heart from this. And Cuban meat, which I really didn't want. Guppy's paw, or... What is that? Oh, that's the digging down thing. I could get Guppy's paw, but... Uh, I don't know. Nah, I'm not gonna get Guppy's paw. It basically, when you use it, it's free to use, but every time you give up... Uh, let me think about how to explain this. It takes no rooms to recharge, but when you use it, you sacrifice one heart container for a few spirit hearts. It's like 
two or three, I think. So you can essentially get yourself more health, but it's temporary. Which can be pretty good in some occasions. Fuck the Fallen? Really? Why? Thank god I have that speed up and I have that uh, slow slowing effect with him. Because this guy does a full heart of damage when he hits you. Which kind of sucks. Ow. So he hit me twice and I got a spirit heart back. But did I take a full heart of damage from him or no? Because I didn't touch him yet. Have I? No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. That was lucky. Die. There we go. Common cold! Holy crap! Now I have slowing and poisoning effect on my tears. That's awesome. I completely forgot about this power-up to begin with. Ew, no, now Isaac look, looks all sick. He's wearing a nun's habit. He has four eyes. He looks all sickly. Ugh, I feel bad for him, to be honest. I'm like a Spider-Man. I'm like Spider-Man now, except I poison people now and I can't climb walls. I kind of want to open this golden chest. Hmm. Oh, hey, uh, Larry Jr. Totally haven't seen you before. Come on, just die. Why did the Fallen give me common cold, though? I didn't even know that was a Devil Room item. I have enough spare hearts. Let's see what's in here. Another health. Two health up pills. Holy shit. And bombs are key. I'll, I'll take it. That's awesome. That is truly awesome. Two health up pills on just this, plus common cold. That's awesome. And I guess if I didn't have uh, Magdalene unlocked, I would have her now. Bomb for a key? Nah. Another uh, library. Why am I getting these things so often now? Might as well see what's in it. Book of Sin? Really? Eventually, these things are just going to have to keep spawning and giving me the same books over and over. Because I'm pretty sure once you use it once, the um, library can't have it spawn again. Like, I just used the Book of Sin, so now it can't spawn with one again. I think that's how it works. I wish I could poison these things while they're still sitting down. I mean, I can poison them, it just doesn't do damage until they stand up. This is so awesome. This is pretty over. Fucking hell. Why envy? It's always envy. It's when things are going well, that's when envy just pops up. It's like greed, except envy can't kill you to save your life. His life? I don't know. I'll just say his life, even though I'm pretty sure homunculi can't even have genders. Quite shot makes this so easy. Oh, you didn't even give me anything, Envy. I'm supposed to drop, like, uh, firing my laser and some other crap nobody likes. So now I'm good for damage, tear effects, shot effects, and for health. Hmm. Now I see what Northern Lion meant when he said that the more you play the game, the harder it gets. Since I've only played this 11, 11 times on this save file, things are pretty easy. Really? Let's open that up. Damn it. Um, how can I do this? I can open this up. Let's see what's in... Oh, cool. It just saved me trouble anyway. I just need one more cent, and I can go to the shop on this floor, too. That works. Now, let's see what's in the shop today. I still need to find the secret room. Uh, let's see, is it up here? Probably not. Oh, it is. Sweet. 
more monies? It always helps. Even though I don't really need money anymore. All I'm really looking for is the candle. That's the only thing that can really... It's the only thing of value over Book of Revelations in my book. I don't have any more keys. Shit. Uh, give me a moment. I can get a key. I just need to destroy a little bit of the landscape down here. I don't want to use the bombs or key pill until it's absolutely necessary. Ow, that was just stupid. I was looking away from the screen. It's like I'm trying to hit all these things. Bombs, coin purse. Wait, no, that that's something different. I'll take it. Just for pills. Like this. Two more health up pills. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this does. Luck down. Bombs are key. What's this? Pretty fly. Nice. Another pretty fly. Sweet. Eh, I guess I'll keep this. How many bomb- How many health up pills have I managed to find in this one episode? Was it six? Yeah, because I haven't gotten a single health- A uh, single, um health up from bosses, so I've gotten six health up pills. That's the most I've ever gotten. That's the most amount of good pills I've ever gotten. Ah, oh, man, this is such a good run. Such a good run. Things never go this well with me. Ooh, and Fallen left me quite some health in here. Sweet. There's no chance in hell I can lose this run. And I'm now going to the Depths one. That's awesome. That is truly awesome. Ah, crap, Necropolis. Okay, there is a way I can lose this run. Mask of Infamy. He can single-handedly screw all of this up. Just because that's how Mask of Infamy works. Use my bomb here, use this. Get another spirit heart and a bomb. Nice. Ah, crap. Leapers. Masks of Infamy. Maybe I should just call these Masks of Shame instead, because the boss is already named Mask of Infamy. Yeah, I'll call these things Masks of... Mask, masks of Shame. Ugh. I'm so bad when it comes to plural forms of uh, words with an S in it. I always, like, uh, put too many S's into it, like wasps. I... <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything plural that has an S after an S word. Just doesn't work with me. Oh! Wow, that was one tough nub. So where's the boss? Because that's the only thing that really interests me on this. Lucky dodging on my part again. Well, here are some maggot, uh, maggot vices. More pills, sweet. Let's see what this does. Tears down. Now I'm already at uh, max anyway. Bombs are key, I have it. Bombs are key, I have it. What's this do? Might as well use this. Telepills. Haven't gotten that in this run yet. Umbilical cord. No use for it. I don't need to open that chest because it has nothing that could be of use to me anyway. I wonder what I'm going to name this episode. Maybe Sickly Spider. <laughs> the Sickly Sickly Spider went up the mother's room, killed your fucking heart, and now you're fucking dead. I can't remember the rest of the nursery rhyme because I was too stupid to remember it. Come on, don't want to get hit by these things because they hurt a lot as I immediately take damage. Ooh, matchstick. That'll actually be good for me. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll keep matchstick. Just because it's uh, going to increase the amount of bomb drops. Oh, shit! <laughs> Why do they have to shoot at the same time? Oh, crap! Oh, I was going to say in the last room, what's the point of having so much health? 
to have so many spirit hearts. Because it doesn't matter now, I'm kind of losing them all. Ow. Either I'm really an idiot, or those lockdown pills are really taking its toll. Probably both. So what assholeish boss am I gonna get today? I can guarantee it's gonna be Mask of Infamy. War oh, Book of Revelations, that's why. If you have Book of Revelations, you always get the... The Horsemen guys. The Harbringers, that's what they're called. Stop with the bombs! You're not pride, you can't just shoot off bombs. Come on, just die. There we go. He's taking so much poison damage. This is so good. Except he's either glowing red or he's white, so I can't tell if he's slow or not. Oh my god, a deal with the angel? Damn it! Miter. This will change, uh. heart drops into spirit hearts randomly. I guess it's sort of useful. So now I have a level 2 meat boy that just shoots a random shot. shoots a shot like uh, familiars do. Oh, what well, I'd kill to have, um. Anarchist cookbook for this room. I'd have tons of maggots on me, but at least I wouldn't have these fistulas. I wonder if this book of revelations is even worth keeping. Well, I guess I have nothing to really uh, overtake it now, do I? Just wish I could find a key so I can get uh, get the candle, maybe. What is he paying out with? Key! Thank you. Now, go burn in hell. Oh, you gave me a key anyway. So did this. How lucky of me. Now I'm just gonna play this a few times. Mom's pill bottle, huh? That's weird. I'm basically trading a full heart for a spirit heart now. That's actually pretty cool. I could play this all I want. Until it gives me what I want. Give me the blood bag, you fucking thing! I wonder if this is abusing in any way. IV bag! You bastard! I can't do anything with this. Oh well. At least I have a ton of spirit hearts to make up for the fact that I'm... Mm, pretty much dead. <sighs> Completely forgot that that thing can drop IV bag. Totally forgot. Ah oh, man, I really need Child's Heart now. Well, I guess this could pay out if I'm lucky. Bunch of hearts? Eh, Spirit Heart, I guess that's good. Ah, oh, crap, I just realized I have Miter. So getting an actual heart drop is... gonna be difficult. Not gonna be impossible, but difficult. Leave, leave, leave! Oh, God. Oh, wait, I have two pretty flies and a uh, meat boy. So my defense is actually pretty good against regular shots. How lucky of me. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Why did I get these pretty flies? I thought I only got one. Oh wait, no, I bought one from the shop, I forgot. So this run has turned from super amazing to very, very stressful. Because I need to find some heart drops, otherwise I'm pretty much fucked. Uh, let's see if the secret room's there. Nope. Crap. Uh, maybe up here? I could easily just go into that spike door room to see if I can find it. But I really do not do not want to waste uh, half a heart for that. 
Oh, cool. Just did my job for me. Maggot's stuck. He can't tell which tile to be on. I love it when random enemies just casually break. So now I have like a ton of money, but I have nothing to spend it on. I'll have to wait till I get to the shop. If I ever find the damn thing. Ah, but greed's gonna be in there. Crap, I forgot. Wait, so I fought Pride Envy, but not Greed yet. That's actually quite a lot of the mini bosses. Ooh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, hey. They actually found the secret room for me. I was going on that first. For like three cents. Wow. Wait a minute. I could go in this room down here. That's a boss trap room. That could have something pretty good in it. Or not. Stupid pageant boy. All that does is give me more money. I don't need money. Oi. Ah, uh, that slot machine can either really save me or really kill me. First things first, I have to find the shop. Evidently, that could either make or break me, because Greed's most likely going to be in there. Actually, it's not even most likely. He is going to be in there. Chances of him not being in here are really slim. Wow, he was not in here. That's really surprising. He's almost always in the last few shops. Maybe it's because I've been fighting so many of these other um, mini-bosses. Maybe Greed knows he's just fucked if he tries to kill me. Oy. Since this is literally the last uh, slot machine in the game, I'm probably going to be here a while, so I'm going to cut and I'll come back to you when I'm done wasting all my money. Every time I'm off screen, that is when the dollar bill shows up. Every time. Hi. Well, I did get uh, a few bits of hearts and a luck down pill. Lucky me. Actually, that's a bit ironic. Yeah. I said that ironic statement without even trying. Time to kill my mother's ankle. Slow her down, which does nothing apparently. I kind of wanted to destroy that uh, tinted rock up there. Like another spirit heart for no apparent reason. This is a little bit too easy when you have quad shot. I'll be so pissed if I actually die in this run. I've come so far! Oh god. I miss being Guppy! Guppy made things so much easier. I wonder how that cat died. I mean, he had some amazing abilities, like being able to fly for some reason. There we go. Break that. Probably another spirit heart in it. Ooh, two. That's actually pretty good. A legit health up. More spirit hearts and a random heart, which probably won't be put to much use. The toilet paper again. Ah, oh, man. So where's the boss? I don't even know where to begin. See, this is the bad part about actually having the map. Because now you have options, but you don't know which one to pick. I wonder how much harder this run would be if I didn't have the poison effect on my tears. Oh, hey! Greed, what are you doing in here? I don't even need to kill you, I just feel like it. It's like that chick from the bref breakfast club. I don't even need to be here, I just got nothing better to do. I only reference that because I just watched the movie the other day. A few people will probably get the reference though. So 
So I traded a heart for a health up pill, and then a spirit heart back. I would say that's a good trade. Wish I hadn't lost the spirit heart to begin with. <laughs> I can't believe how many health up pills I've gotten. Really wish I hadn't walked into this room. Ow. Oh, I killed the- No, 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 no! Ooh, that was a bit close. So where's the boss at, then? Chances are it's on that far up uh, top right corner. It's only a logical place where it could be. How am I- How did I not take damage to any of those lasers? That was weird. Stupid cysts. Great. Now I'm going to have to fight death on this floor. Which I really, really do not want to. I hate that boss. I'm being a pain in the dick sometimes. There it is. Yes. Bomb for heart. Yes. You know, for how... Considering I'm in my mother's womb, wouldn't just hitting my tears against the wall sort of poison her entire body? I mean, it's just a thought. I mean, the womb can be a delicate place, so just shooting a little bit of poison should just fucking kill her. Stop it, Diglett! Jesus. Yep, I knew it. Top right corner. It's always in the most unreachable, unreachable point on the map. Hey, Death. Totally didn't see you coming. Yeah, I have slowing effect too, so fuck you. Ow. Didn't expect that to actually hit me. Oh, gotta kill Death soon. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep spawning zombies. There we go. Why did he give me a spirit heart? That's weird. Ugh. There we go. And just kill his little horsey, horse, 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 horsey. There we go. And now I have a level 3 meat boy, which will just walk around and chew on some things. Don't really, li don't really like level 3 meat boy, because he tends to kick bombs around, too. I mean, he's cool and all, but he can be sometimes of an ass. That plus he slows molasses. And he's a bit retarded too. There are just so many things. Oh, good god. Why? Why, 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 why? Ow! Why did that. No! I'm being raped by lust! Telepills? That's weird. Come on. Ow. How'd that hit me? I don't even know how much health I have, to be honest. I have so many spirit hearts, I can't tell how much... How many, uh... How many I really have. Hell, the screen is being taken up mostly by red hearts. From all those health loop pills. So, let's see. <sighs> kind of want these telepills again, and let's see what's in the secret room. Probably greed. Probably greed. Or one up. One up helps. Uh, let's see if the boss is down here. No, but a free spirit heart is. Assuming I don't get hurt. Which I might. Man, I feel bad for LJ. He can't do anything to protect himself. Well, aside crawl on the ground, which doesn't even help him. Great, just a bunch of spiders. Uh, might as well check this side, see if the boss is... Okay, that's gluttony, that's five of the sins. Who am I missing? Wrath. I know I'm missing Wrath and... Sloth. Sloth and Wrath are the only... The only uh, sins I haven't faced yet. Well, the other ones I've faced, I think. 
More spirit hearts again. What's with the plethora of spirit hearts and health up pills in this run? I mean, I knew that this challenge run was going to be easy, but this is just overkill. Come on. There we go. More money, which doesn't even help me because I'm full of money. It's so weird that I've been working with nearly base damage this entire run. The fact that I can get this far with just, just a little bit above base damage is pretty good. That plus I... Oh, hey, Gluttony. Haven't I killed you twice before? This is so easy. What if he's going to give me more spirit hearts like he did before? He did. What the hell? Why am I getting so many spirit hearts? Come on, Meat Boy. Help me out with this laser. This is why I hate Meat Boy. He's useless. Luck down. Useless. Oh, you can chew on him. There we go. Mom's heart. Yeah, Mom's heart. This is going to be so easy. Well, the, the actual slowing effect's not going to do anything against Mom. Mom's heart. But the poison's going to constantly hurt her. This is so easy. Until she starts spawning zombies, which I don't... I'm not sure if she can, uh, can or not. Because this boss actually changes if you beat her like seven times or so. And she gets like increasingly harder. I don't know why I said increasingly. She gets harder. There we go. Come on. Just die. I've been playing this for like 40 minutes now. I just want to just want to stop. Oh, well, that bomb should have done poison damage in and of itself, too. I really wonder how much health I actually have. I guess I shouldn't check, I mean, considering I still can see all my spirit hearts. I guess it's... I guess, I guess that's enough of a... Symbol? Reason? I don't know. Oh, spread about that's what, uh... This this challenge unlocked. Not not really a good good item, but I kind of like it. So what did I unlock? Get us in a jar, I hope. Yep, I like that one. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even notice that reference. Not till now. So let's see, what was the new thing I just unlocked? Stats. Secrets found. Fetus in a jar. And spider butt. So I unlocked four things already in this one uh, episode. Huh. Oh, I, I still haven't found the nail. Bag of bombs. The quarter. Still haven't played it Samson. I should probably do that. How many characters do I still have? Oh, I have all of them. Sort of. So, with that, I will bid you all adieu. This has been Wraith. Let's play some Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Sadly, sorry if my commentary is a little bit stale. I wasn't quite in the mood to record this, apparently.